Hi Taurus. So today I'm going to be doing your daily. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. Please keep in mind that my readings are general and may or may not resonate. So take with us and leave the rest. Also, don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and venus sign for more insight. And don't forget to take advantage of my $25 special on my readings. Email will be listed in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, you guys, as well. First card out is Deception. Someone here is wearing a, fel a, a false self mask. Okay. Tongue tied. I already got a bad tongue. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. All right, so somebody got some shit that they need to get over. I'm not your mom. That's the I'm not your mom card. Chemistry, though. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And you need to flirt, okay? All right, let's see what's going on between you and your person. Excuse me, you guys. My kids are mad because they have to put up the groceries. <laughs> They're yelling at each other. I have one boy who is 11, and I have a girl who is 6, and the girl is a Pisces, and the boy is a Sagittarius. The Pisces is always cursing. This has just every out. <laughs> it's cute though. They both act alike. And if you think about it, their opposites are ruled by the same planet. You have uh you have the opposite of Pisces, which is those are yours. You have the Pis the opposite of Pisces, which is um Virgo, and the opposite of Sagittarius is Gemini, and they're both ruled by Mercury, so they just argue all the fucking day long. They remind me of Vir me and Virgos so much. Okay, so we have you burdened by a situation, something that you might have really been really happy with that's not so happy no more. I feel like you're um you're at a crossroads. You don't know which way you should go. I feel like at some point in time, this person might have um, balanced you off, but now it's not so much. It's like I'm, the love is not as good or as entangled as it should be. So we're having a problem trying to figure out exactly what we want to do because there's still love here and there's still potential for happiness. However, it's starting to be too much. I feel like it's because this person might be a bit codependent. Yeah. And you're juggling with the idea if you should drop it or not. Okay. Yeah, it's like, oh, oh, okay. So that's why we're burdened because we feel like somebody's a player or maybe it's us. Are we the player? I don't know who this is a player here. It could be you, it could be this person, but get burdened by that because it's like you want to play. You want to do shit with other people, but you have this person that is like up your ass or, or Taurus, this could be you up someone else's ass and they want to play. Yeah, I feel like this person... Uh, does have other people someone here it could be a cancer pisces or scorpio and they don't know what they should do with you you might have also oh i got the two of wands twice so the both of you guys don't know what you you should do i feel like you probably reached out to this person and told them that they haven't been emotionally available to you lately and that's why because they're dating and seeing other people freely why is the six of pentacles here yeah, this person is juggling you with someone else. It could be someone who might be pregnant. Uh, with the Queen of Swords to the Seven of Cups here, I feel like they don't know where they want to put their loves at. But I feel like they are about to cut someone or these options off to be happy, maybe. This could be you. Why is the Sun card here? Eight of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, someone here is working on absolute stability while someone here is rejecting it. Okay, so take it how it resonates. That's a little bit confusing, but I'm pretty sure you understand it. Okay, so 
let it let's see what the outcome is for you and this person spirit please tell me what the outcome is for taurus and their person what is the outcome for taurus and their person thank you nine of cups okay whatever it is i see you being happy Ooh, you're ending something to offer love elsewhere yeah i feel like you already feel like you know the truth about the situation okay so let's go what is the um advice spirit what advice do we have for taurus all right i i need you to be a completely honest with yourself about what you want to do here with these relationships and if you need to end this end it because right now a third party for you and trying to juggle two people is not going to bring you the love that you really want okay all right, thank you. Bye.